All right, what's going on, boys and girls? So this particular video is going to be a little different of Linux users' perspective on macOS. And how can I give that perspective? Because unlike a lot of people who say they use Linux, I live in Linux. Like 90% of the time, I have, all my recordings are done in Linux. All my gaming, mo not all my gaming, but most of my gaming is done in Linux. Like, I live in Linux as a production tool, as a gaming machine, 90% of the time. But there's probably about 10% of the time that I use those other annoying OSs like Windows and Mac OS. So what are the positives of Mac OS? Well, before I get into that, let's talk about the hardware this is actually running on. <coughs> it's a 2008 MacBook Pro, early 2008 MacBook Pro. 6 gigs of RAM, 120 gig SSD, and Intel Core 2 Duo processor. Don't remember the exact spec. It's a MacBook Pro 4, 1. Needless to say, a Mac OS, from a Linux user's perspective, has a lot of pros. But it's also got some cons. Pros. Hands down, no questions asked. Best trackpad gestures of any OS. Smooth as fucking butter. Three fingers up presents all your windows. The, like, the, you know, the, there is nothing in Windows or Linux. Windows precision drivers or the, the really, really good Linux drivers for, for trackpads do not compare to the, to the gestures on a Mac Pro, a MacBook Pro trackpad. No questions. I'll concede that point to the end of the earth. What's another thing? What you see is what you get. And it's actually really not that hard to figure out. They did global menus as Ubuntu wanted to better than Ubuntu did. Uh, Ubuntu's version where they hide is fucking annoying when you're using Unity. But the way Mac does them is great. I love them. Um, the biggest thing Mac OS has going for it is optimization optimization of apple produced software hands down the best iMovie garage band final cut in iMovie i can do 1080p not 60 but 30 frame per second video editing perfectly fine on this 2000 this early 2008 macbook pro garage band runs fine multitasking is fine optimization of the apple made software from top to bottom even on unsupported soft uh, hardware works amazingly well i i can't argue that point that is just fact now let's get into the bad one size fits all pro one size fits all con um if you have a different workflow than the one Apple foresees you having, that is not going to work for you. And when I say workflow, understand that workflow for me, from my perspective, is the way you have applications interacting with one another. How you, you know, how do you deal with video editing and audio editing? And like for me, I'll jump into. Caden on Linux, I'll jump into Caden Live first and get everything set up the way I want. I'll mute out the audio tracks, then I'll jump over to Audacity and do that. Now, the way I do that is a bit different than say on than say on Mac OS, where you end up actually having those applications open in compared to the, like, their equivocals and you can just swipe up 
and switch over that way because it gives you that expo expose i believe it's called view and that's perfectly fine it's just it's different than what i'm I'm, the the workflow i have developed uh so the one size fits all not for everybody totally fine with that that that's that's more of a personal choice as a user thing but as a linux user you end up developing your own workflow how you inter you interact with those applications to get stuff done in a quick manner. Um, another con is the uh, has Apple really changed any of the design of Mac OS since Snow Leopard? Because really, that was the last time I had regularly used Mac OS, and it still seems the same. Just like uh, it's a more of a generic question. Um, two, another one, kind of the looks thing. Can they keep their iOS out of my desktop, please? The the dashboard launcher thing looks like the fucking home screen from iOS. Uh, d- ugly, 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 ugly. It makes the Unity uh, dash look good. Um, what was the other thing? There was another looks thing. Ah. Uh, I'll probably remember it, but, (laughs) um, oh, Siri, keep your personal assistant crap out out of my OS too. Like, I don't care. Uh, so those are those particular things. Apple, a non-developed Apple app store software. Now, Apple is lauded for having developers focus solely on like this. This is what the example use this not all apps are created equal example one of my favorite applications is one called focus matrix it's a eisenhower to-do list thing and it is good it's kind of slow though now that could be the hardware but the apple developed stuff is miles faster than this simple to-do list so it's it's a little weird um but that, it's stuff like that where it's like the Apple stuff gives you such an experience that you expect it for all applications and you don't get that. that that's another big hit on Apple for that. And the other aspect of that is Apple's handholding. And as a Linux user, this is really, really annoying because both of the other operating systems do this. I don't mind hand-holding for new users. New users should probably have it. Most of the time, the problem is between the keyboard and the chair, i.e. the end user. However, if I tell you to leave me the hell alone about an unsigned application, I probably know that it's unsigned and I probably downloaded it knowing exactly what it is. Because in macOS, to install a DMG, I still have to click and drag the damn thing over to install it and then there's the whole password thing so the hand holding is kind of fucking annoying and they make stuff like they make disabling that kind of stuff really really annoying unless you really it's not deep to dig into to disable it but if you don't know where to look you can probably miss it and it's, so they they try to kind of tunnel you into the app store, and it's really annoying. Windows does that now too when you download shit from the internet, and it's like, oh, this is potentially a virus, and nah, fuck off. I probably downloaded it because I know what it is. I'm not 99% of the other moronic users. Thank you. So, pro, con, good, bad. <laughs> Mac OS is a tool to get stuff done. If you're fine living the the Apple ecosystem, if you are fine with great optimized software, but and you live those Apple programs, I, Mac OS is the best place to go for it. If you do third party stuff, it might not be the best place for you. Uh, depends on your hardware. If you don't like living 
specifically in a more lockdown nature, not going to be for you. As a Linux user, those are big cons to me. But I can see the appeal of Mac OS. Oh, and the one thing Mac OS has is that beats out any other Linux distribution right now. And it's still half-assed, but it's still better than pretty much everything that Linux distributions have offered is a uh, universal dark mode. I, I'm sorry. I hate whites. What can I say? Ironic, given the fact that I'm in whites right now. But that's just kind of a Linux user's overarching perspective. This is like really high-level stuff. This is not a like deep dive into what I do and do not like about Mac OS specifically. But as a generic end user, there are some problems with it, and there are some things to like about it, just like every other OS. If you are a Linux user and you use Mac OS or do use Mac OS still, what are some of your pet peeves, the things that you like, the things that make it better than Linux, worse than Linux? Comment below, let me know. And as usual, all the Indie Gala Patreon stuff is down in the description as well. You guys know what to do. Write it, comment, all the fun jazz, and I will catch you on the flip side. Peace.